Ah, good evening. Yes, it is I, the conspicuous Moo. And, um, it's that time of the week again when we get another beta patch and everything switches around and uh, this time it's a damage pass. Now, um, as you're probably aware, um, Brewmaster damage is on the low side, probably fifth out of six for the tanks at the moment, apart from prop warriors, poor prop warriors. And, um... So I thought it'd be fun, before everything comes out, to have a bit of speculation and have a guess at what they're going to buff and what they're most likely going to nerf as well. When it comes to buffing damage in general, um, there are two abilities that stand out way above the rest when it comes to Brewmaster. You're probably very well aware of them. One of them is called Tiger Palm. And, um, well, let's face it, Tiger Palm has been pretty ordinary. I mean, I, yes, I know it's a filler, but so is Spinning Crane Kick. And that's the AoE filler, and it still does more single target damage than Tiger Palm does. Now, Tiger Palm does have the brew reduction, of course, um, but it's just a bit rubbish at the moment. So it would be nice to tune Tiger Palm up a bit, and that's one of the abilities I'm hoping will become a little bit more interesting. Um, by the way, Blizzard, a buff to uh, the Tiger Palm component of Blackout Combo wouldn't also go amiss either. The second ability, um, which looks like it should be powerful, but really, really isn't, is of course Breath of Fire. You know that spectacular moment where you breathe fire out of your mouth all over your enemies and expect them to be burning? They're more giggling, um, and it tends to be around about 5% of your overall damage pass. That's pretty bad. But I do think that we're going to finally get some better numbers out of Breath of Fire, and I have a lot of wild supporting evidence for this, of course. Um, for a start, we have the legendary, Charred Passions, um, which is actually probably second on the list of legendaries to take anyway at the moment. But, you know, as an interesting start, you've also got, of course, the Celestial Flames talent, um, which has been wildly underpowered at the moment and is not being taken by anyone who isn't very, very drunk. Um, and also, indirectly, the nerf to Way of the Fae, um, the conduit for Feyline Stomp last week, would make a lot more sense if Breath of Fire was being buffed, because, of course, um, Feyline Stomp would be indirectly buffed if Breath of Fire was buffed as well. Um, so yes, I'm hoping and praying for um, Breath of Fire initial application and for the dot as well. Um, there has been some call for the dot to stack. I think that's probably fine damage-wise, but probably not damage reduction. So, um, you know, maybe the dot can stack to three, but you know, you don't get 5, 10, 15% damage reduction because then it starts to get a little out of control and it's just going to nerf town then. Last week's nerf to Celestial Brew was, of course, a triple slap. Um, the indirect nerf with the increase of the cooldown on Purifying Brew. Um, the 40% nerf to the actual shield strength and then the doubling of the cooldown to one minute. Now, I know that it was a strong ability, but that might just be a teensy bit too much. So I'm hoping that they're going to compromise and at least reduce the cooldown to 45 seconds instead of one minute. I mean, yes, at the moment, if you take a very, very specific set of talents and covenants, then it is possible to bring it down a great deal. For example, Blackout Combo um, and the Necrolord ability Bone Dust Brew, um, along with Light Brewing, yes, I mean, that would that would get it down to sub 30 seconds per celestial um, celestial brew usage. Um, but you know that's a very very specific way to get it down and it doesn't really seem like it's a good design intention. Basically I just think that the one minute cooldown is a little bit too long um, and that 45 seconds is probably a better fit. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way Purifying Brew is working in the rotation at the moment. Now having mentioned the Necrolord ability Bone Dust Brew I think it's probably going to get a nerf. It's not got any weaknesses right now. I mean, it does it does healing, it does damage. Um, the conduit got buffed last week, um, and there is currently no internal cooldown on the ability at all. So you know, it just procs off whatever damage you're doing. So what people are doing, of course, is taking rushing jade wind, which ticks an awful lot over over its eight second duration and. It's procking madly, you know, you're getting them, you're getting very, very high amounts of uptime, um, which makes it an even stronger ability than a lot of the other Covenant abilities. It, it's why it pulls out in front as your standard issue. This is the best Covenant for a Brewmaster if you're just starting out kind of thing. So I would imagine that they're going to put an internal cooldown on 
the proc chance just because at the moment it's a bit nuts. I think the other Covenant ability that's likely to get um, a hit here is Fallen Order. Um, it's still doing an awful lot of damage. I think the Monk Ghosts are actually out for longer than intended as well, so there's like even more damage being added to this mix. Um, but there's also um, a mildly hilarious video which I'm going to link, um, <laughs> which is the new Windwalker ranged spec. Basically it just means that you spam uh, a pet attack macro whenever you have Fallen Order up and you can basically delete all of your enemies in moments. They just disappear. It's very funny to watch, but it's broken as hell. So I expect that that is not going to go live. Um, and this would be the right time to do something about it. So yes, I hope that we get damage increases across the board because um, as I said before, we are rather low and more damage equals more threat. And threat is still an issue on the beta at the moment. We have a workaround with uh, Dave the Black Ox statue, um, but we do have to sacrifice some very valuable utility in order to use it. Um, and you know, on a side note, I think things like um, the Ox statue and Exploding Keg are kind of... They should be baseline abilities, basically, because they're kind of iconic to the spec, but that's another video for another time. Um, but I don't think we're going to get any talent changes anyway, so what I'm hoping for is um, a slight uptick in the coefficient for threat to damage as well. So yes, like I said, very quick vid. Just a few predictions, um, which will probably all turn out to be wrong, and I'll look like a complete and utter numpty um, this time tomorrow night when I'm explaining all of the changes that have taken place overnight. Um, so anyway, um, fingers crossed, we're going to come good. This is going to be awesome. I am the conspicuous Moo. Cock-a-doodle-doo. -doo.